it still growed up. My uncle was supposed to mow it. And he mowed all the pastures except for this one. So walking back here, it was perfectly clean. And I was, you know, thinking it was going to be good. But once I got back here, I noticed the pasture was growed up. And I, I, was, I was already back here, so I went ahead and walked to my stand, which is just about 50 or 60 yards through this growed up mess. But it covered me up in beggar's lies so bad. I got them all over my legs and my arms. It's just a mess. The tractor and the mower are sitting up there by my truck, so when I get done hunting, I'm probably going to drive it up through here and at least mow a strip where I can walk. But, there still should be deer movement. I mean, I can still shoot a deer. Hey? Well, I just heard a turkey gobble. I may kill a turkey, who knows. But, uh, I see a spot back here where the deer have been walking. It's like a deer highway. So maybe they'll walk behind me or in front of me. Either way, it's going to be a pretty good shot. If I see one coming. But, uh, stay tuned and hopefully we see some deer movement. I've seen deer every time I sit here. So we'll see. Pretty crazy morning. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get these beggar lice off of me. But, well, first I started off here. I didn't talk to you about how it was all grown up, and that actually kind of hurt me. But I was in. I ended up being set up by all kinds of turkeys. I had a big old gobbler in the tree beside me and didn't even know it. And uh, when they flew down, it kind of scared me, but. I ended up, and I was reviewing the footage a while ago, and I seen that one of them, the biggest one that came, that was right here beside me, he has a double beard, and I, he was in range, but turkeys can see out of this world, and by the time I'd have grabbed my bow and stuff, I would have had to have been ready before I seen them, so I, I didn't want to spook them, so I ended up not getting a shot, there was, you know, three or four long beards, but Anyways, a little while goes by. I see a couple coons. I'm videoing them. I get the camera out. It's pretty sunrise. I'm taking some pictures and stuff of the sun and different things. I hear something. I look up and 
there's a doe, and then behind her's another doe, and behind her's another doe, and turns out there ended up being five big old, big old fat does. And but because this field is so grown up, you know, they they stayed on the other side, on the outskirts of it, and kind of in the edge of the woods, and just stayed. There was probably about 40 yards, but they was behind limbs, and you know, up in the edge of the tree line. So there really wasn't nothing I could do but film the little bit that I could I didn't get great footage because they're in the shadows and the sun and it's just tough but uh, I mean and then as soon as the deer were coming I heard all kinds of racket behind me and the neighbor's cows walked up so uh, but anyways the tractor and the mower sitting up here at my uncles and my aunts and I'm going to try to go when I walk out of here go start it up and come back here and at least mow me a couple little strips where I can walk down here to my stand and where the deer will com feel comfortable walking because right now it just don't look like they're, they're wanting to walk out in that I mean I, I don't like it so I know they don't deer are always going to walk the easiest route and that ain't an easy route so but if I get it mowed I think it'll be dynamite in here the turkeys, the deer, everything will use it and I can mow just one strip on the edge and they'll come walking right by me. So it's definitely cooled down a lot from what it has been. I actually got a tad bit chilly this morning. A little chilly right now. But I'm gonna get all these beggars lice off of me and pack my stuff up. And I'm gonna head on back to the truck and try to get all this mowed. I, I may come back this afternoon, I may not, I don't know. Either way I'll be back in the morning. But uh and also, I forgot, but Cody and Larry drove over to Van Buren this morning, and they're hunting right now. They're actually going to hunt all day, so surely they'll lay something down on the ground or get some footage or something. So, as uh, soon as they get service and they can get back, I'll figure out what they got, and uh, we'll try to put something together and get an episode for y'all to watch and for us to re-watch, but... Uh, it's really just the first time I've set out to this year. I set out one day the other day, and I've set with Cody two times, so it's only the fourth time I've been in the woods. I keep hearing something over here. I may sit for a few more minutes. But, uh, y'all just stay tuned with us. We're gonna we're gonna have a good season this year. And good luck to everybody out there hunting.